Hey everybody, this is a review and installation guide or just comments on first uses and stuff of this Midia dishwasher. For right now, in 2023, you can only get them at Lowe's and it's about $500, which is actually a bargain compared to all the other dishwashers out there. This is the model number and here you can see what it looks like. All right, here's what it looks like. You can see it's basically like one of these higher end ones. Sorry, my knee cracking. It's all stainless steel. You don't have anything on the front at all and it fits in a regular opening. Even we had a problem where they installed this floor after the kitchen was built and it raised it up. You can see it's actually higher than the hardwood floors nearby, but we were still able to get the dishwasher in. I wanna tell you about some of the problems I've had installing it as well during the time I was installing it because the previous dishwasher was installed when this house was built in the 80s or this condo. And because of that, it needed a new drain line, different size and new water supply, different size. Here's where I ran into issues. Uh, you can see they had to do some cutting work here, but my old pipe, the supply line, wasn't the right size. And when I went to turn it off, just to twist it off, this knob broke off. And then I tried to separate this uh, from the block. It was actually on a block and remove it from the copper pipe and it all broke off. I actually snapped the copper pipe. It wouldn't come free. It wouldn't break free, basically, even though the this did first. So you're going to need a new, probably different, potentially different size uh, stainless steel and you're gonna need a new drain also. This one is supplied with the unit, but it will not, uh, if, if it's an older dishwasher, it's actually a different size as well. It's wider, this is thicker, wider. So is this for more water going in and more stuff going out. Let's take a look at the unit now. Well, we just ran our first load and you'll see, you know, there's nothing on the top. There's actually no buttons at all in this unit. And it has a light, you can see inside. Let's first of all, see how clean our dishes came. Uh, you didn't see it before, but this thing was full of grease. And actually, I'm surprised they got this clean. It was mostly brown. So it did a really good job. And let me show you some of the features that this thing has. First of all, it has a third rack. In addition to lights, there's a third rack up here, which most dishwashers don't have. And this is like $500 dishwasher, keep in mind. Most of the other ones that'll have anything like this will be at least double the money. This media company actually makes OEM parts for the other dishwasher manufacturers in China. And this is the only actual full unit they build themselves but it has all these features and including a washable filter right down here, which you need to change every so often as it gets dirty or just not change, but just pull it out and rinse it backwards. It's all explained in the manual. And you've got ba different baskets. Actually, this basket is removable. So you, can, so you can actually not have to bend over all the time. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, it has, yeah. So this is, it's all nicer. It's like you'd see on a, uh, higher end dishwasher, all these little features. It has rinse aid if you want to use that. Uh, and then this, you know, locks in the, and actually, just so you know, this is not a button. You actually lift up to, to get it to open like that. Now on the control panel, there are no buttons, but you can see there's different things to select. So the way it works is you push, you, you, you hover over for like three seconds, the power thing, it lights up. And then you can select these things, which I've already selected in the past and it remembers them. What I would recommend is going on heavy all the time. So you're gonna get maximum wash, sanitize, high temp, and also extended dry, which will get everything even better dried. I think a lot of times with plastics and things and other, other things you stick in, there's sometimes puddles of water. Apparently this prevents that from happening. And then the start button. And if you don't wanna run it, you just hover over the power button again and it shuts off. And that's really all there is to it. There's, there are four lights here that run, that, that show how you're doing, progressing when it's running. And it's a good thing these are here because as we've noticed, you can't even hear this thing running. I didn't even know it was on. It's so quiet, it's unbelievable. That's what I would say. It's exponentially quieter than the dishwashing unit it replaced. It may not be the absolute quietest, but maybe it is. And I'd say for the money, it was well worth it. And you know, it's $500 for this whole unit. So if that's anything ever goes wrong with it, just buy a new one. You don't have to, these things, as long as you can get a dishwasher for $500 or less, I'd say it's not even worth repairing. When something breaks, just buy a new one. You have all new parts. It's sad to say that they're disposable like that at this point in time, but there's also no need to spend $1,000 or more or $2,000 on a dishwasher when you can get all the features in this one right here. All the other models that I was pricing were over a thousand. 
And our, our old dishwater had a three quarter inch water line. These all have five eighths now, so you might have to redo your water lines if you're replacing an old dishwasher. Yeah, but it's going to fill faster. It's going to run faster. It's going to it's going to flush out all the stuff because the drain line's wider also. So, and here is the quick start guide. If you, if you want to take a look at this, that's basically what it is. Nothing on the back, but there's the company. Like I said, this company is from China. Everything's made in China. They have started out making OEM parts for all the other manufacturers, and this is the in, the only one, the entire unit that they sell on their own, and it's a bargain for what you get. So that's all we have to say. If you have one of these units, let us know in the comments, and uh, let us know how it's held up as well. So, oh, another thing is Consumer Reports, I checked this all out on there. They say, and it's true, that all these units pretty much do the same job. They all clean dishes well. They all use less water and electricity than if you would wash them by hand in the sink. Uh, so they all do about the same job. The only main question is the features. Oh, and by the way, make sure, look, this is full stainless steel interior. That's another thing you want, full stainless steel interior. This has it. The features and the price and the reliability. There is no reliability data, data on Consumer Reports for this brand, Media. Not yet, but my guess is they're not going to be any worse than anybody else, especially if this company has experience making all the parts for all the other manufacturers. And like I said, it's disposable. <laughs> if something goes wrong, just get another one for $500. It's, it's uh, not worth buying all, you know, multi, a thousand or so dollar dishwasher and having to repair it and go through that nightmare of having to repair things and stuff breaking and stuff like that. I read reports from uh, consumer reports on Bosch dishwashers or Bosch. That Bosch. They They're supposed to be the most the, reliable. They were among the top five highly rated ones, but I also saw reviews from people who said theirs died a year after they bought it. <laughs> yeah, the, and it, they, they were, Bosch is supposed to be the most reliable too, but there are these horror stories. And yeah, the thing is there, you have to go through the repair process. If you spend that much money on a dishwasher, you're going to want to get it fixed and get your money out of it, right? To make it last. But if you only spend $500, like on this one, it doesn't even matter. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping for a dishwasher. Hopefully this helps. Give us a thumbs up and also subscribe if you don't subscribe already. And look, take a look. It looks like, if you don't know anything about dishwashers, this has some fingerprints on it right now. This looks like one of the most high-end dishwashers there is, and it's $500. So just keep that in mind. It's all anyone cares about is what it looks like here and inside with the lights. And then it works, and which it does. And it's super quiet.